Hello. My name is Aid. I will help you win this game. Good luck. Dare Evil EXE is a game that wants to hurt you. It's also a bit of a smarty pants show off, busting through the fourth wall at will and liberally scattering gaming references over everything. It makes for a bizarre, frustrating, sinister and faintly exhausting experience. In other words, we had mixed feelings. The game's hardcore and slightly grisly pixel art platforming made us think of Super Meat Boy, although the levels scroll along like Mario, if Mario had ingested the wrong kind of mushroom, and contain puzzle elements. The key twist here is a computerized narrator that's kind of like GLaDOS from Portal. You deserve to be the knight in shining armor. Her name is Aid, and not only is her delivery slightly deadpan and sinister, but it provides vital instructions as to the challenges you're going to face ahead. And you will need these instructions. How else are you going to know that you really shouldn't collect any coins, as they'll make you explode? Dare Evil EXE works hard to upset your expectations. Levels are scattered with messages from the developer, including how long it took them to make the game, as well as admonishments when you failed to listen to aid. After a particularly gruelling section that killed us multiple times, we were amused to find the knowing text, I don't want to do that again, it changed me, on the wall of the next section. Earlier, in between levels, we'd played brief snippets of entirely different games, including a Final Fantasy pastiche and the briefest of riffs on a breakout game. Both suggest a warped reality, where the true virtue of your quest is in serious question. Dare Evil EXE is perhaps a little too smart and knowing for its own good though. Like a snarky teen whose sarcasm loses its intended edge with overuse, the game occasionally gets lost in a constant stream of aha moments. The storytelling, meanwhile, has so many red herrings and unorthodox flourishes that it's hard to follow exactly what's going on. It takes a surprising turn for the macabre, too, with elements that almost make it feel more like a survival horror game than a retro platformer. But it's hard to sustain the necessary suspense and pacing, let alone narrative thread, when you're having to repeat a tricky sequence of platforms again and again. The platforming itself is kind of a mixed bag as well. The virtual controls seem a little woolly, with not quite enough digital precision or reliability for the level of challenge on offer. You often have to press forward twice because the character just stops running forward for no reason. It results in a game that's interesting rather than irresistible. Dare EXE has all the makings of a cult favourite, especially when you factor in the previous game it's following on from. But it's not quite tight enough to be the nailed on breakout hit that you sense it could be. Great job. You are a great platformer.